in Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 to 10, and verse 13, Jesus meets a centurion with great faith. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, Go, and he goes, and that one, Come, and he comes. I say to my servant, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed, and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. A centurion was a commander of a century. A century was made up of 100 legionaries. A legionary was an infantryman who wore heavy armor and weapons. This centurion commanded 100 soldiers. These soldiers obeyed the centurion's commands without fail, without exception. This centurion believed that life itself obeyed the commands of Jesus. The centurion believed that Jesus was the commander of life. He believed that all that was necessary for his servant to be healed was for Jesus to command that his servant be healed. The centurion was a Roman, a Gentile, and not a Jew. He was not a Jewish religious leader. He was not a Jewish teacher of the law. We do not need to be from a certain lineage. We do not need to have a certain religious position. But we do need to believe, simply, that Jesus is the commander of our lives. When Jesus commands, life obeys. Go, let it be done, just as you believed it would. When we believe Jesus as commander of our lives, when we obey the commands of Jesus, the will of God becomes alive in our lives. Life on earth becomes more like the kingdom of heaven.